In our last lesson, we created an OpenDB button and a Create Table button. And they both worked. The next thing I want to do now is add on another button to close the database. Here's the button that opens the database and packs it in. Here is the button that creates the table in that database and packs it in. Here is the open function method. And here is the function that's called by button number two, the tableau function. What I need to do now is put a button right here. And this button has to close the database. So, like in everything else, I start with self. Self dot button for equals. I'm going to create a button called button for, a variable called button for, and I'm going to instantiate the button object. And I'm going to put it on the frame. Space. I'm continuation character. And I'm going to key in text equals close db. Single quote. Comma. Space. I'm continuation character. And I hit enter. The next thing I want to do is put in the command to be executed when you click on this button. Command to be executed equals space line continuation character self dot and I'll call this function fermer for close. Close friends, hit enter. Now I have to pack it in now. Self dot button four dot pack it in button pack your silly self onto the frame and make sure you pack yourself onto the left side close friends and I hit enter now I'll come down here and tab over I'll define the fermer function close function for self column. I'll just say very simply self. Know that variable con, yes. Close that connection. That's it. Self.con.close. And that should do it. Let's test this now and see if it works. Remember, all I've done is I've created this function, which is called by this button here. Command equals self.fermer. And now, first save our file. File Save as, I'll call this ZDB4. Enter. Here we go. Run. Run module. And there we go. Huh. I've already created the table. Let's open the database. Let's close the database. See if it works. Ah, it worked. No error messages. Nothing. Well, that was just super duper great. The next thing I want to do is create another button in the next video, which will insert a record into the database. Every time I click on that button, it will insert the same record into the database again and again and again. Then a list button to list that stuff out. That's all I've got to say for now. This is George Bull saying bye-bye.